It's two in the morning, and our it's raining so much that our rain tank collectors, <clears throat> our rain collector tank is full. And it's thirty gallons. And it's thirty gallons. So Herbie got up, and I guess I got up too. <laughs> And we're filling these um, jug things with rainwater that we can use for showering and for dishwashing and all sorts of things. So this is super exciting because it's showing us how successful our rain collector can be. The rainwater tank was full. The deck fill plates were washed on the deck so I knew that the tank was as full as it could be. So we decided to pump it into these little jerry cans that we have. These are collapsible. So they start off like this. They're really easy to store and they fill up to hold five gallons. So we collected 25 gallons in this rain so far. Oh, you can see the water. So that's all. You just set it there and then open the valve and let it flow on in. The little spout, we can get it right over the top of the tank before we open it. So there's no drips or any leaks. And we just hold it as it fills up the tank. Slowly. Very efficient. Yes. So we're starting a new tank. So we got it closed and I simply roll it over with the valve shut. Get it in position. Reach down here. And open said little valve. And on it goes. That's it. Not so hard after you get the 40 pound jug up here. <laughs> we're going to Cantler's since we're in Annapolis. We gotta get some crabs. <laughs> This crab is molting and he's coming out of his shell. And you get that in and you peel that off. And then you peel off the entire ooh, back. Like that. And none of that is good. You want to get rid of all that. And then what you can do to help you crack it open. The eye off. All right. This guy doesn't have a whole lot of meat on him. So you want to pull off the legs. And if you're lucky, you'll get some meat on there. So are the large not as fat as the mediums? The mediums were fatter. Yeah. And then what you want to do is try to get to all the meat that's in the back fin because the back fin has the most meat. So you pull away, peel away from the back fin. And you'll get some meat at, on your way through. Pull that outer shell away. And you're left with this huge thing of meat from the back fin. And that's the good stuff. 
And this crab was not very fat. But you got it. That's good. Now everybody has a different way of doing the claws, but what I like to do is first pull the claw out to get that meat. Then you want to crack open the part of the claw that has the pincher. And you get this big piece of meat in there. And that's delicious. And that is how you eat a Maryland crab. We're shopping again. <laughs> Anytime we can get, we have to shop. Yep. So, produce. Yeah. So our fresh fruits only last about a week because I eat them. And if I don't eat them, they rot. So they only give us a week. So pretty much once a week, we have to come out and find some fresh fruit. Yes. Next time on Sailing Wisdom, we get onboard haircuts, we sail up the river, and we pump out our other boat. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much.